Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell, your friendly neighborhood chart nerd, coming to you with a morning market preparation video for July 30th, 2019. Um, I really do identify with that chart nerd. I spend an awful lot of time with my charts while I'm studying price action. Uh, and uh, all day long, actually, uh, between starting at about 5 a.m. in the morning here Central Time and all throughout the day and sometimes late into the evening. <laughs> and speaking of that, this evening, I just wanted to let everyone know we will be holding a, a strategy um, class tonight, e-learning class, um, at 8 p.m. Eastern in our room three, and it's free to the public. So please feel free to come on over to that e-learning class uh, this evening, 8 p.m. Eastern time. And I will put a link, if you look just below the title, there will be a link to the blog. And right below that, there will be a link to Room 3's class tonight. So please um, feel free to come on over and join us in Room 3. And we're going to be talking about a strategy setup that we use um, all the time in Hit Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options called the Pullback Opportunity. So let's take a look at what's going on in the market here this morning. Dow futures looking a little bit lower. In fact, all futures this morning looking a little bit lower this morning. But let's take a look at our charts and see what we've got going in here. So first off, one of the things I always want to pay attention to is what is the trend doing? And right now the trend is holding up. The trend is still hanging in there. Now this morning you can see we have a bit of a bearish open trying to come into play. And that could threaten this uptrend if sellers really pile on we'll want to watch that pretty closely now if those bears come on strong and really start pushing to the downside let's keep in mind we have a little bit of price support of these tails right here if we can find even though we might get a little bit of pullback if we can find buyers that step up here we could still be in pretty good shape however if we slip below those tails i would fully expect then a test of these price support levels in here on the chart so Let's watch that closely. And um, if they do happen to find that inspiration, they bounce off of this and push up. We've got to get through that little downtrend right here in the diamonds to maybe push higher for those new record highs. So a lot of things to consider and watch here in the chart. There's a, quite a little bit of uncertainty out there um, surrounding all of these earnings and what the FOMC might do. And of course, trade negotiations resuming with China. So lots of things stirring about, um, giving the, the market just a little bit of angst. And it looks like we're seeing just a little bit of caution heading into um, all of these decisions. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY did much better than the Dow, or has been doing much better than the Dow, holding up very, very strong in its trend. No particular fear here of really slipping lower. Right now we have a bit of a price support right through here, but it looks like we're going to lose that price support this morning um, with a gap down. So let's watch this carefully uh, today. Now, I don't think we have any major or imminent fear of full-on collapse, but we'll certainly want to be paying attention to this trend and support levels that show up in this chart. Uh, to try and hold that price if we do start to slip. So you can see there's several price levels in here that we could find uh, we could find some support on before we dip all the way back down here to that breakout high. So watch that closely. Now, of course, if those bulls happen to find some kind of inspiration in um, earnings reports or something like that to bring us back up, then we have blue sky above here for us to be um, thinking about here on the spy so really good shape overall there's just a little bit of angst right now a little bit of concern let's take a look at the cues cues also looking for a bit of a bearish open this morning although our trend continues to hold strong we're looking for that little bit of a bearish move this morning maybe dropping down testing the low of, that, of yesterday's uh, move and um just that slight bit of pressure and that that actually 
is a possibility that we give up this little level of support right here. Now, the Qs doesn't have as much room as the SPY does uh, to make some of these decisions. If we were to slip back down below this level, notice the next real level of support that we have is the test of that breakout high. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. Again, if, if those bears you know, take, take this to task, we could see a test down in here. But if we find that inspiration and in earnings today to go ahead and bounce back up, blue sky above here in the queues to be thinking about. This darn IWM is uh, about as frustrating as you can get uh, for an index. We've been running in this downtrend, really ignoring the rest of the market overall here in the small caps. They just can't seem to get any traction going. And even though we've attempted to break this um, downtrend a couple of times here just recently, we, we continue to find those bears up there um, trying to resist that move. And this morning we're looking at this gap down, potentially gapping below uh, the last three candles of the market, um, suggesting possibly a test back down in here into this support. Hopefully it doesn't slip below because if we start slipping below in some of these indexes, IWM might be that one that could lead us down if we lose this level of support could give us that little bit of a leadership to the downside. And it's just been a dismal um, index uh, the entire, uh, this entire year. So um, let's keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at the VIX. That VIX indicating just a little bit of fear yesterday um, as we rolled along here, but not a tremendous amount. We're holding on to this price support down in here on the VIX. And we still have this downtrend in play on the VIX. So not a particular, particularly concerning pattern yet um, in the VIX, but if we do gap down this morning, as the futures are kind of suggesting right at the moment, gapping down 100 points uh, right now on the Dow, then we could see some pressure um, on the VIX starting to uh, spike up a little bit. Now, once again, I don't think we should panic on that. Um, and the only, the only thing to really worry about is if we move above this downtrend, hold it as support, and then start higher. That's where the real selling could come in, and that's where the real danger lies. So watch that pretty closely. And also keep in mind, there is a fairly significant level of resistance in the chart right here. So just spiking up here doesn't really do anything for us in, in really changing that fear aspect. We need that higher low to really start bringing up um, that suggestion that we could have some trouble ahead. So keep an eye on that VIX. Let's take a look at T2122. It's that four week new high, new low ratio. And doggone it, yesterday we just kind of slipped back a little bit of selling. Uh, we're, we're showing the, you know these areas up here where we get up here in this um, bearish reversal zone and then the sellers come on. Well, we tried yesterday to pop that up there just a little bit and just couldn't get her done. And those sellers uh, kind of came in strong, um, at least early in the session, pushing us back down. Now, here's the thing that's confusing about T2122 today is, and, and, and really it's, it's the confusion of the market. What's going to happen with all this data? Um, we're sitting here very, very close to the 50 mark in this indicator. So that just tells us we have about an equal chance to move higher, equal chance to move lower. Right now, the futures are pointing us to that downside move. So we may, may be moving down toward this area. So let's watch that close. But T2122 isn't providing us any directional assistance here. I'm just saying that there's room to both sides. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar today. Our economic calendar is going to have something to say about what happens in the market today. We've got personal incomes and outlays here at 8.30 a.m. Now, one of the things that's that's raising some angst right now in the market is our Fed Fund futures have been wavering 
know, and the confidence as to what's going to happen on Wednesday afternoon. Um, currently, Fed Fund futures suggest that there's about a 73% chance. That was that was 100% not that long ago. Just a 73% chance of a 25 basis point cut. And now um, it, it has slipped down to 27% for a 50 basis point cut from the FOMC. Now, of course, the reason that has been the case is because economic indicators have been coming in stronger than expected. And of course, earnings have been coming in much stronger than expected this quarter. Although on the lighter side, they've been coming in better than um, what has been expected. So now there's this angst, this confusion, uh, and uncertainty as to what the actual outcome may be. So as they run through some of these numbers today, uh, we'll want to we'll look to those pretty closely. Right now, personal income and outlays can certainly move the market around, and they're suggesting it is declining just a little bit. That may help uh, pump up that idea of the rate cut today. We want to also remember we've got core logic. Consumer confidence in pending home sales this morning. All of those are going to be pretty important uh, today, even though um, they tend to have less likely chance of moving the market than this number here. But if we start getting some surprises in these numbers, that can certainly move that market around. So watch those closely this morning as um, our week this week is just chock full of data, uh, not only on the economic calendar, but on the earnings calendar. Speaking of the earnings calendar, we had about 290, a little over 290 companies reporting earnings today. And those earnings are rolling in pretty fast and furious. One that really seemed to knock the cover off the ball here this morning was Procter & Gamble, P&G. Uh, beating earnings, gapping substantially higher this morning. That certainly will be um, helpful to the market. But right now we just have this little bit of pain going on here. We're just not sure um, where we're going to go from here and a little bit of confusion um, in the overall market uh, condition. So let's be a little cautious, a little careful. And let's also realize that after the bell today, we have another round of big earnings. We're gonna get, we're gonna hear from AMD. AMD is gonna report after the bell. We're gonna hear from Apple uh, this more, uh, tomorrow, uh, this afternoon, plus a bunch of other companies that have the potential for moving the market around. So as we start hitting those earnings this afternoon, we should be considering and thinking about the possibility that there could be a substantial gap tomorrow, either a gap up or a gap down. You want to prepare for that as you're thinking about how, how much risk you want to hold into the close today. Let's take a look at... Um, um, stocks that could be moving. But just before we take a look at some stocks that you might want to consider for your watch list, let us um, let me take a, a moment and just say thank you to everyone who watches these videos. And, and if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and the follow me button um, on Facebook. Also, click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. You know, we have... The, well, the purpose of these videos is not to provide any kind of prediction of which way the market's going to go. It's to provide that information without hype on the things that you should consider as you're preparing for the day of trading, whether or not how you want to approach the market for the day. And if you find these videos helpful, I truly, truly appreciate you clicking that subscribe button. And also, feel free to share these videos um, with other friends and family. If you feel that these videos are worthy and um, you know, you could help out and do your part as well as sharing this information with other folks. So share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter or any place else you might find uh, that um, information important. Now, also, um, please do me a favor and click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. And I truly am humbled by all the kind words um, in those in those comments. Thank you so much to everyone. You guys, honestly, um, I'm stunned every day 
by uh, the kind words. So thank you very, very much for those who take the time to do that. And, and um, if you feel the video is worthy, then please do that yourself. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. Now, one of the things I, I want to mention is uh, these stocks that I'm showing you here are just uh, a few of the stocks that could be moving around that I'm watching, always watching. And um, members get the, the uh, benefit of, of all of the stocks that I find and put on watch list. But I always like to give a few in here that you could work and put in your watch list um, for potential trades. Let's take a look at a few of those right now. Um, what might be moving around and what you might want to pay attention to. Take a look at um, Broadcom here, AVGO. AVGO breaking through a nice level of resistance, possibly um, changed uh, has changed its trend trajectory here. Nice little hammer pattern here yesterday, uh, pushing higher. Now, futures are certainly having an effect on, uh, could have an effect on this this morning, and we could push lower, but watch um, AVGO, that nice little hammer pattern in a consolidation. There is that potential of moving higher, and this does, you know, reports on 9.5, so... Um, watch that pretty closely, but um, looking pretty good overall here in the chart. Let's take a look at some of the retailers. Um, Kohl's is something that I mentioned to all of the members last week as a potential trade. And you can see Kohl's coming up out of this bottom. This is what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern. Um, prices breaking above that 50-day moving average, holding the test, and then moving on higher. Um, folks that picked that trade up on Friday were up probably 25% just in one day yesterday. So really nice move here on Kohl's and it's looking good. Now, keep in mind, it could see some pullback today just simply because of the a little bit of bearishness showing up in this morning's market, but that's holding up quite well. Another chart you might want to keep an eye on is this CentOS. Cintas, beautifully tight consolidation, moving up after its gap, and we're just watching, waiting to see how long this might have to consolidate, resting. But what's um, pretty important in this pattern is that after that big gap up, just notice there really is no sellers. It, uh, we push down a little bit and buyers pick it back up. So we're watching and waiting to see if we can get that break, that pop higher here on Cintas. It's one to be watching and paying attention to. Also, Microsoft has been holding up quite well. Now, it looks like Microsoft is going to gap down this morning. Doggone it. Um, just that pressure that's showing up in the NASDAQ here this morning, pulling it back. But that doesn't mean that this is bad. Any pullback in here can provide a closer um, entry into a trade. So we'll want to watch this little rest, this little pullback, make sure it doesn't get too overwhelming. Um, if those uh, bears kind of overwhelm the bulls in here, but as long as it holds up within its trend, if buyers step back up, there may be an opportunity here in that chart. So keep an eye on that. I've been mentioning Lulu as a possibility and Lulu gave us a really nice, um, um, candle pattern yesterday after breaking through this little downtrend pulling back to hold it as support buyers stepping up here pushing it higher now doggone it the the futures this morning pushing lower is going to probably open us down in here let's keep an eye on lulu but there still may be that opportunity to move higher here i want to share with you some trading that um, we've been doing in um, right way options and why this um, why these videos I, I, I don't give you everything in these videos um, that we do a, a within the membership I, I just can't do that obviously but um, I try to share with you guys just absolutely as much as possible let's take a look at a few trades one of the trades that we have been holding and we're going to be affected today by the AMD earnings is uh, this longer term trade. And I've been holding this trade. Um, right Way Options folks have had the opportunity to follow me in this position and we, we have been in since here. So I'm up over 100% in this trade using leap options at this point. Now we've got to deal with earnings today and so there'll be 
uh, discussion today in the Right Way Options class about how we're going to manage around the earnings report this morning. But you can see we're looking even on these longer term trades, the same type of patterns that provide very, very good results. Also, we're holding a great position in Disney. Disney position up about 40% at the end of the day yesterday, looking really, really good. And we've been holding this one for a while, looking great overall. I've been mentioning General Motors to, to members of the room and General Motors of the first entry into that trade was right in here. We broke that downtrend, hold it as support, come remove right over here to our, our trend and up we go. Notice we're consolidating that move again. Now it looks like General Motors might have a negative effect this morning, but we'll want to watch this right in here for that opportunity to move higher. Remember earnings coming here on 8.1, so we have to think about that. But GM has just been in that really nice rising pattern. So members get some of the best information. And um, if you're considering that, just look in the blog. There is a, um, a banner ad in the blog. Uh, this morning, if you would like to uh, try a monthly membership, you can get it at a 30% discount if you're interested in that. Um, and certainly, um, that's not the purpose of these videos is to try and sell you memberships or anything like that. But it's just to show you that uh, members do get um, uh, tremendous benefits uh, from the group. Let's take a look at... Um, um, SMAR. SMAR. This is one of those things that we always want to watch and wait for. And this is a, a chart that I was watching for a potential trade. And you can see yesterday rallied back up to that resistance area and just got hammered yesterday. We're seeing a lot of this. Now, even though I've been bringing this up as a potential trade, we're not in this trade, but I want to suggest this is happening an awful lot right now. And that is showing us that challenge of this market. We're whipping back and forth. So I want to echo what I said yesterday. Be very, very careful in what you do. Be very, very cognizant of this volatility that the market is is experiencing right now and be smart about the trades you take remember there's no need to rush into these trades and at, at all and as a matter of fact if you have to stand aside through this entire earnings week uh, before we find a direction for the market that is acceptable if that helps you hold on to that competitive edge in the market. We don't have to rush into these trades. So hopefully that's helpful. Everyone, I want to wish you all a great day. Thank you for listening. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning, FOMC, Wednesday afternoon. So lots more uh, volatility expected ahead. So plan carefully. Everyone take care. We'll talk to you all very, very soon.